Good evening and welcome to Mako TV. I'm Paulina Riojas. And I'm Mia Alvarado. Our first story tonight focuses on a hero from South Florida who has made history flying solo around the world. Captain Barrington Irving, the youngest black pilot to accomplish this feat, he came to the NSU campus. My co-anchor Paulina Riojas covers this story. A work ethic um, has always existed in me. Heroes are all around us. Here in South Florida, Captain Barrington Irving is the first black pilot to fly around the world solo in a plane he built himself. Captain Irving's story was screened at the Alvin Sherman Library as part of the docu-series A Hero of a Thousand Faces. It's not a challenge to find the heroes. I would always say that heroes are all around us. It's really about finding people, listening to people's stories and journeys and hearing how impactful those stories are. Captain Irving saw the edited version of his story for the first time, bringing back memories of his journey. This was my first time seeing, you know, the edited version of what was filmed. And I'll be honest with you, uh, there are some moments I was about to cry, but I wasn't going to let you guys see that. But, you know, you forget some of the experiences you have flying around the world or overcoming different obstacles. And as soon as you start hearing elements of it, it just comes back to life. And immediately you can be transformed and you can remember what that moment felt like, smelt like, what that experience was. And... It was pretty cool to go back in time in that way. A lot of the audience members were moved by Captain Irving's story, including Mathemis Pierre Francois. I feel like he was speaking from the heart. Mentorship was a reoccurring theme throughout the event. Captain Irving shares his thoughts on mentorship. One advice I'd say for mentors and mentees is that uh, sometimes it's only a couple conversations or a few hours of time or 30 minutes, you know, the, the gentleman who introduced me to aviation, his version of mentorship was like, look, I'll talk to you 30 minutes once a month. That was it. I've had other people that I'm able to capture, you know, for maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, ask them something once or twice a year. Michael Anderson hopes Captain Irving's story inspires everyone. The documentary series features men of color and looking at life through the lens of a black man and seeing their experiences, their um, uh, journey in life in hopes to inspire young people, not just black people, but all people, but to see it through the lens of a black man. The Black Wings exhibit is open until March 31st. There you can find Captain Barrington Irving's achievements on display. I'm Paulina Riojas with Mako TV. Up next, we take a look back at the vibrant, culturally rich experience that was the Haitian Marketplace at NSU. The event was a collaborative effort between the university and local Haitian artisans and business owners, promoting their cultural heritage and celebrating diversity within the NSU community. Here's Madison Casper with the story. I'm here at the Haitian Marketplace to get a taste of the culture and see what it has to offer. The Diversity Student Council's inclusion chair wanted to share her culture with the NSU community. So I was like, hey, don't, why don't we do a Haitian Marketplace event, get some small business vendors out here, bring the culture to the campus, have some music playing, have some performances. A member of the Pressure Dancers team describes her feelings over her performance. It was a great experience. I'm glad to be able to perform for my culture. I really love my country, so it was great. <laughs> Students of Haitian background come out to show their support. Oh, we're both Haitian, so we like know a good amount of our culture. We just came over here because um, our close friend was running it, and we wanted to uh, just have a great experience with our culture, even if it was for an hour or so. Students at NSU share their thoughts on the importance of diversity. We can learn about like new cultures and like. I don't know, diversify ourselves. It's important that NSU has this event to represent the diversity and the coming together of the different communities within different cultures. One business owner uses her art to represent her culture. So my art is, represents my culture as well, um, so I take a lot of pride in that. Just to be able to show someone else that it's okay to be yourself, to be proud of who you are and where you come from, and to just include diversion, you know, diversity to everyone so that everyone can, you know, unite. One business owner shares her thoughts on the Haitian culture being showcased. Being of Haitian background, be, even though I was born here, growing up when I was on campus, I was the only Haitian on campus out in Boston. So to see all these kids 
with the Haitian background out here and the school actually acknowledging that this, this ethnic group exists and showcasing them, I think is phenomenal. I'm super happy to be here. Annie hopes students learn and remember the Haitian culture. And my biggest hope is that students kind of left this kind of learning something and kind of really getting to learn more about Haiti, learn more about the culture, and even learn more about themselves in the process. Kind of think about the different games that they grew up playing, the foods they grew up eating, the music they grew up listening to. The NSU men basketball team is on a mission for more success this season after an impressive run to the Elite Eight last year. Have you caught our basketball team this season? I have. I actually have caught a few games, and they've played actually really amazing this year. Awesome. The Sunshine State Conference Tournament starts next Tuesday, February 28th. Let's hope our Sharks get into it with top performance. Here is Santiago diaz Finocheto with the story. After an incredible run last year, the best in program history, the NSU Sharks, now back-to-back -back regular season champions, expect nothing but success this year. The conference championship was one of our goals that we already achieved, but I think going to the Elite Eight and then ultimately winning a national championship. Nick Smith, a former basketball player at NSU and now graduate assistant for the team, makes clear they are not yet satisfied this season after being eliminated in Elite Eight last season. It was such a good year last year, but we felt like we left something on the table. Now we realize what we have to do to get back there, what we have to do when we get there. So we got to take it one game at a time, but it's, it's a little bit of a different feel this year. There's bigger, uh, bigger things on the agenda for sure. With just a few days ahead of the Sunshine State Conference Tournament, the team keeps showing great performances and personality on the court. I think we play harder than anybody in the conference. Um, just like the way we play our style, obviously, you know, it was up-tempo and we force a lot of turnovers, but we play hard for each other, we play hard for the coaches. Our coaches expect us to play hard, so there's a certain level of expectation ultimately for us playing hard. So that's definitely the mantra of our team and you know our persona. But the players know it is not only them, but also the coaches and staff behind their wins. We have good players, but we also have great coaches and great coaching staff that knows what they're doing and they work just as hard as we do to recruit players, to prepare for opponents, to prepare for practice every day. I mean, they, they do a good job of getting us mentally and physically prepared for you know each and every game. This Saturday, February 24th, the Sharks face Embry-Riddle University at 4 p.m. in the Rick Case Arena for the last game of the regular season. I'm Santiago Yasmino Guido, reporting for Mako TV. The 19th Annual Community Fest brought together students, organizations, and the public on February 4th. The event was held at NSU's Davy campus around the Gold Circle Lake. Here's Tierra Garnet with the story. NSU's annual Community Fest brought together students, families, and organizations to come together to promote and support one another. Every year, NOVA highlights clubs and organizations to come together as a community to inform not only future Sharks, but as well as the community at NOVA Southeastern University. The event featured kid-friendly activities. The event also included animals and a petting zoo for the public to enjoy. This is Tierra Garnett for Mako TV. That's it for tonight. You've watched the first episode of Mako TV. I'm Paulina Riojas. And I'm Mia Alvarado. Follow our YouTube page for more coverage, SUTV Channel 96. And you can also find us on social media. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at SUTVCH96 and TikTok at SharkSUTVCH96. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye, Sharks.